Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to Spelling with Jules. It's Thursday. Hello, Chloe. Hello, Ronan. Hello, Sasha, who actually beat Ronan this morning. I think she must have got up early just to do that. <laughs> Ronan's always there at 10 o'clock. Uh, but Chloe was there um, at nine. Uh, Sasha was there at nine this morning. Um, so good to see Chloe Stevens here. And hello, Lil Phase Exxon. Hi. Um, and yes, Steve and I sort of tried to manage to do a thumbnail. Um, I don't quite sure how I did it though. So whether I'll ever do it again is um, a question you'll have to watch out for, won't you? How is everybody? Quick check in. Um, I'm feeling okay. I do have some news to tell you. Um, but I'm afraid I won't be in spelling tomorrow. Um, I've got to um, travel down to Kent. So, um, but I'll be back on Monday. Okay, so um, I will see you on Monday. There might be a few of these now that um, I won't be able to do every day up until we get to the summer, but I will try to do as many as I can and try and let you know beforehand. So our next lesson after today will be Monday, okay? Uh, you're good, are you, Stephen? Excellent. Ronan's okay. Um, I hope you're all... Oh, Chloe's good. Excellent. Um, good. So let's have a quick reminder of what we did yesterday, and then we will uh, move on to what we're doing today and our spelling quiz. So yesterday we did the sound, uh, but with the spelling... Um, yes, well, it's partly linked to COVID, Stephen, so I am allowed to go to Kent. Um, um, I have got permission, uh, but it's not to be close to people. OK, so that's all I can tell you, really. But I, I will be safe, I promise. I'll be good. OK, so there was the sound, uh, that we did. Um, nurse with a purse. So let's have a look at how we do this. So we could... Add in an N, an S, and an E, and then that becomes nurse. So we've got two letters, one sound. There are other ers. In fact, one of them we're doing today, um, but that was the one we did yesterday. If I take off the N, the N, and replace it with a P, P it becomes hearse. Yeah. What else could we do? So um, we could take off both of those and then we could do burn, baby, burn. So we've got a b, uh, mm, for burn. And then if I took away the b and replaced it with a t or a t, what would it become? Uh, mm. Turn. Now, if I, let's have another one. So I'm going to this time do uh, all pearl. Okay. And then I'm going to take off the and replace it with a k. And what? You read that now. So it's uh, or curl. Yeah. You've got a busy day today, have you, Ronan? What are you doing that makes you so busy? Are you allowed to tell us um, while you're doing that? So what else could we do there? Let's do... I'm going to keep the k now. See if you can read this. We didn't do this word yesterday. Uh, curse. Have you heard of the word curse? So witches can do a curse on you. Might have seen that on the on the telly on Netflix or something. Um, so a curse we could do. But then, then we could again go back to writing nurse. And um, we could still go back and write curse. Yep. So that's how you want to be doing your spellings. Have a little look around, have a play with it, move letters around. The posh word for that, we call it phonological awareness. So that basically means the ability to manipulate um, and sort of reflect upon the sound structure of words. That's a very posh thing I'm doing there. Um, you've got a lot of stuff in the garden, have you? 
Oh, yes, curse. So I'm thinking of curse as in um, witches making a curse, but you can curse, which is swearing. Yes, that is true. So you can um, curse people or stop cussing is a short word for it. And it means swearing. You're right. Yeah, very good. Um, so, um, yeah, so phonological awareness is this idea to manipulate. So to be able to take off a letter and replace it with another letter and say, oh, so fat, if I replace for a k, it becomes cat. If I replace k for a h, it becomes hat. So that ability to take away letters and put in others, that will really help you with your spelling and your reading. So it's worth having a practice and a play. Just play with letters and think what they, what they end up. You can even make up um, nonsense words. So we could do some words that don't even mean anything. So if I said, um, Serlapa. Okay, Serlapa doesn't mean anything, but I'll think, oh, I'll spell it like this. Uh, la pa. There you go, Serlapa. Yeah, and so you can just practice, just have a little play, make up your own language using your phonics. Okay, that's how you will re um, really improve your spelling and your reading. Okay, having a good old play. Okay, so that was yesterday's letter. It is time to get your pens out to do your spelling quiz. Okay, now some of you might find some of these words easier than we've done for a while because we're back looking at our red words, a lot of them. Do you remember we chose numbers? Um, make sure you give me your numbers for um, choosing the next five at the end of the lesson. Today you can have up to 30. I'm not counting at more than 30, otherwise we'll be here all day. And I definitely won't finish on time. Okay, so... For now, though, that these are all really good words to make sure you know and to spell. So number one, number one, you, you are doing spelling with jewels. You. Number two, there, over there. So not their clothes or they are over there they sound three things that sound the same right Stephen I'm going to write down 21 okay 21 for Stephen I'm going to write these in my book so I don't forget so you can all put your numbers in number two is there number three um, we haven't done a lot of signing for ages but the sign for who who number four should, should, I should be going to see um, a film at the cinema soon when I can get tickets, should. Number five, okay, this is an important one. It's not brought, as in from the word bring, it's the word bought, as in from the word buy. Ronan's 15, okay. So Stephen 21, Ronan 15. Chloe, you need to tell me, and Sasha. And little elf, 18 and a half. Okay, I'll give it a go. Little phase X on. We'll see what we do with 18 and a half. Now, if we were doing maths, once it reaches five, you go to the next number, don't you? So it'd be 19. Ha ha. Okay, number, where have we got to? Five, yeah, so bought, not brought. Okay, so I bought something from the shops. Number six. Okay, these are looking at, remember we did subject, num, uh, subject spellings. So this is from um, subjects. It's religious. Okay, it comes from the word religion. So religion is our noun, is the thing. And if, if you are religious, that is a description of yourself. So an adjective, we call those. Religious. That's quite a hard one. We have done it before. Number seven. A bit easier, I think. Maths. The subject of maths. Number five was bought. I bought something from the shops. Number eight. 
Okay, this is the subject science. Science. There is a silent letter in science. Number nine. Your 18.2. Ah, we're getting very massy now then. So 18.2 for Chloe. So that is under five. So we're going to round that down to 18. So Chloe's 18. Little phase exon is 19. Ronan is 15. Stephen is 21. Uh, seven for is maths. Maths. Um, uh, we've done science, we've done geography. The last one, number 10, is humanities. Okay, I'll give you a clue with humanities. It's got the word human in it. Human itties, humanities, we say. So that's something to notice, isn't it? That we say human, but when we put it to humanities, we don't say humanities. We say humanities, so it goes back to having man. Whereas when we say human, it almost feels like un, doesn't it, rather than an. Number nine was geography, Stephen. Yeah, well, Chloe kind of copied you, but she went under five rather than over five. So she was doing the math, wasn't she? She was um, going down rather than going up. So that works. So little phase on your 19 and Chloe is 18. Right, I'm going to quickly run through them again and then I'll give you, um, I'll write them on the board. So number one was you, two was there, three was who, four was should, five was bought, six, religion, oh, sorry, religious, seven, maths, eight, science. Nine geography, ten humanities. Ten out of ten, well done. Um, eight and nine was science is eight, nine is geography. Okay, right. Well done, Chloe, for getting ten out of ten. Let's write the answers down anyway, though. So the first one is U. So it's a Y, Y, O. You, so you. Okay, and that's one of what we call our red tricky word. Number two is there. So air. Okay, and it's that type of there, a direction there rather than their clothes or there's something else. Okay, well done, Ronan. Number three is who, W-H-O. That doesn't look like who at all, does it? That's why it's a tricky word. Okay, and number four, should. So it's, and then it's uh, and then d, should. So sh and d, you could get but you might get that bit wrong. Okay, let's have a look at that for our tick and fix. Okay, so if we did, if you wrote should like this, which is very common, lots and lots of people spell should like that, and they actually tick, tick, tick and tick. So there's four ticks. So we just have to um, ensure that we add in, what are we missing? We're adding an O, so we need to fix it with an O, and then it's a silent L, isn't it? You don't hear that L. So we have to fix the L, all. Okay, so rather than crossing out the whole of should, tick, 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 tick. Oh look, I've missed out an O, and I've missed out an O. All right, so I fix them. That is how you're gonna learn your spellings, all right? Number five. I just realized you can't see that, can you? So I'll do it that way. Fix with an O there, fix with an O there. Okay. Number five. Yes, I know my phone. I've ignored the phone. I'll ring them back. 
Um, number five, bought. So it's not brought. So it hasn't got an er uh in it. Okay, so it's b, b, or o u g h, t, b, or t, bought. So that's tricky, isn't it? The o u g h bit. All right, number six. Okay, we're on to our um, subjects. Religious. R, 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 O, I, J, S. Soft G, isn't it? It's not religious. Okay. Religious. All right. If it was religion, you put that bit on there. All right, so you've got religion or religious. So you can have both of those. Extra bonus point if you can do both of those. Uh, seven is maths. Mm maths. In America, they just say math. They don't have the S on the end when they say maths. You can hear the phone too, can't you, Stephen? It's stopped now, though. Number eight, science. Okay, now science has got this little tricky I N S. Okay, science. Science. So you can make a few errors there, but it's usually that C that people forget, or they sometimes miss out the E and they put science. Science. You've got to really hear, haven't you? That tiny U. Uh, for science. Okay, and the last two, so we've got geography, so it's geog, geog, raf, raf, and then the E sound is the Y, geography. And the final one, humanities. Okay, so we've got human. Some people call it hums, but it's human. U -m -a -n, and then human e and then t t e. Okay, again the e. Both times the e is represented by a y. Nine out of ten, Stephen. Good. Have you tick? Have you done your tick and fix for the one you got incorrect? I hope so. And notice what it is and try and remember for next time. Great. Well done, everybody. Really good stuff. So our new sounds, funnily enough, actually, it's not a new sound because it's the same sound as yesterday, but it's spelt differently. So this was yesterday's and this is today's. So they're both the same sound, aren't they? Uh but one is spelt E-R and one is spelt U-R. So the one we're doing today is this one. Okay, so in our little box over here, we can put the other uh, can't we? Okay, so two letters, one sound, but it's only one way of spelling it. Okay, and we can have all sorts of ers. Let's start with ones that are at the end first. So we've got over. O, over, I'll try and keep doing the custom thumbnails, I'll give it another go, six out of ten, well that's still good, it's still more than half little phase exon, and it's making sure you tick and fix, okay, don't worry too much about how many letters you've got right, how many ticks did you get right, did you get the beginning and the end correct, and just missed up the little middle bits, Okay, so tick and fix is the most important thing. Okay, ear. Ah, well, now actually, ear, we're going to have to put this over here, Ronan. Because you've got, you're right, it has got the er sound, because you go ear. Okay, but um, that's not one of these. Even though it is an er sound, I know what you mean. That's okay, little face. Don't get despondent. Okay, the main thing is that you're learning. In fact, you're much easier if you're making mistakes and then you're ticking and fixing. You're sort of learning more than if you were getting them all right. 
See what I mean? Because you're thinking, oh, right, well, that's interesting, and then you've learned something. So don't get don't get upset about that. Okay. Um, Stephen, right, stereo is another one because we don't say stir, do we? So it's stereo. So that's actually an e sound, stereo. Okay, so it has the letters er, but it's not the sound er. Uh. Okay, let's have a look at some others. We've got never, nev, er. Uh. We've got weather, with, er, uh. proper. Uh. Ah, now person is one. Yes. So and um, person. So these are all at the end, aren't they? Whereas person is in the middle of the word. So per person. Yeah. Well done. So person. Now error. This one is again. It's a. It's the. It's the spelling e r, but it says e. It's an e sound, isn't it? So error we need to put over here. Okay, because that's an e -er sound. Perhaps though is one, and person is one. So person is definitely one, um, and her is definitely one. Yes. Uh. Okay, and perhaps is definitely one. So, and that one actually is quite interesting because you've got person and then the same spelling for perhaps. Okay. You've made one up, have you? See, though, Stephen, I would say, even that one, this one here, I would say that's Yerevan. Yerevan. Your Evan. It depends how you say it, doesn't it? So it might be one and it might not, depending how you pronounce it. Okay, let's try a few others. So we've got, how about perfume? There's another per. Look, we've got three of these. We've got person, perhaps, perfume. And that's got that split diagraph, hasn't it? With the, the U. Okay. We've also got, ah, sorry, Stephen, again, oh dear, I feel a bit guilty, but that, so it's not er, is it? We don't say Murray, we say Mary, so it's an e eh sound, yeah? God, it's difficult, isn't it? How about this one, though, Germany as a country? Germany, Germany, yeah? And every now, every is a little bit like your merry because the first bit is an e eh sound, but then we've got here so ever. So that's a word, isn't it? And then you could have forever, or you could have every. Okay, but if you take out the r and you make an n, so you don't have that er sound then because you'd have even. Okay, now, ah, here we go. Service, yes. Seven minutes, thank you, little face. Derby, ah, hmm. Do we say derby or do we say derby? I think we say derby, so that isn't one. Same spelling, different sound. But service, yes, and were, yes. That's an er sound. So this is a good one, though. It's good to make these, have a, have a little play with these. Um, and to look at that. So, and there's one I could think of at the beginning. There isn't many, but it's a name. I don't know if you've heard of Ernest Hemingway, but the name Ernest. So, uh, like that, and then Nest. Ernest. Whereas Earn, E A R N, don't need a capital there, do I? Is E A R N. So it's not an er sound, it's got that. Um, it is an er sound, sorry, but it's not the same spelling. Whereas that earnest is. Right, tricky, eh? Right, let's do a couple of sentences. Um, I'll put them on the board if you write me a sentence. I'm going to make one up. 
Oh, here we go. Ah, mum and dad are from Germany. Yeah. There we go. So there's an er uh sound, isn't there? And a good sentence, Chloe. First sentence. Stephen, my service is never over. My service is never over. Very good. Well done. Okay. Could do with one from you, Ronan, today. Let's see if you can come up with one. But while you're doing your senses, let me do one and then we'll do our spellings, which we're counting. Now, who have we got? I've got Stephen, Ronan, Little Phase, Exxon, and Chloe. That's fine. So I'll do you four. Um, but let me do a sentence quickly. So the person smelt of perfume, which was uh, Chloe, perhaps. That's the name of the perfume. Um, and the perfume came from Germany, which was the proper perfume, which I liked to wear every day. There we go. Like it. Okay, Ronan, well done. I went down to the shop to get some perfume. Maybe you bought that for somebody very special. Lovely. Well done. Good sentence. Right. It's time for counting. Where's my red words? What have I done with them? Here they are. Excuse me. I've left them behind my laptop. Right. Okay. Stephen, you were the first one. 21. Okay. You ready? I'm going to count. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Oh, this is a good one. Were. Now I need to rub out my errs. This has actually got an er in it. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought you could guess an er? Well done. Now, one thing to say about this as well. People often mix this up with where. So let's have a look. Number one is were. That was 21 from Stephen. Okay. But recognize the difference between were. So we were going to the shops. Okay. Or where. So where are you going? Lots of people mix those two up. Okay. But that's where. So that's the air sound. And that's the er uh sound, were. Okay, that's a one way to remember it. Well done, Stephen. Right, back. Who is next? Ronan was 15. Are you ready? Shall I shuffle them up a bit? Hopefully we won't get the same words. Oh, I've got a sentence here from Little Fakes X on. The weather, very good, is never good when we were not in lockdown yes very true right okay you ready 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 down okay and here you've got d ow n down okay we go down the hill so, d, ow, d, ow, mm, down. Good. Right, where have we got to now? So, little face X on, you were 18.5. So, I'm going to round that up to 19. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Many. Okay. Now you can see where you would get wrong, why people would get that wrong, wouldn't they? Because it's an a ah or an a, but for the e eh sound. So, m, e, n, i. So lots of people would write many with an e but it's with an A. Okay, so many, we've had many lessons, spelling with Jules lessons, haven't we? So, mm, e, but it's an A, ni, many. Right. Chloe, you were 18. 
Okay, you ready? This is the last one from you. And I need one more number from one of the first ones. Give me another number. Can do number five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, quite a nice one to remember. He. Okay. Time's up. Yes, I know. We've got one more to do, though. He, H-E. So that's a nice, easy one. Okay. Anybody want to give me a number? Okay, I'm going to choose one then. I'm just going to cut, cut it in half. You ready? Brother. Brother. Okay. So brother is bro. Bro-uh. Uh, and then uh, another er uh sound there. Okay, brother. Excellent. It is time to go. I'm one minute over. Dear me. Oh, 10. Sorry, Ronan. I'll get you tomorrow with 10. Okay. Bye.